Welcome back, Star Wars fans. Today we're diving headfirst into the galaxy with our brand new play se Let's Play series on Star Wars Outlaws. Buckle up as we explore the gripping story, breathtaking visuals, and the adventure awaiting us in the vast universe. Let's jump into this. And for anyone that is new here, my name's Jason, also known as J or Fox, and I welcome you today. As you can see here, we've got Han Solo encased in carbonite which is just such a nostalgic moment for me and i think they've done it really really well it looks very close to the movie obviously we said the jedi and we have jabba himself and his little creature here the one that giggles in the movie like this just looks so spot on like real big props for all the negative press and reviews on this game i've got to say some things are just done well and correctly and i really am grateful for that but we are going to try and move out here last time i played i'm pretty sure jabba said i had to work for him and regain his trust i'm not sure if they're actually gonna let us out of here uh, but we can certainly try it's not looking good though so far every door's blocked We did make a deal with Jabba. I'm not sure whether these guys are going to let us go. Okay, so they've stood down. Okay, we're grounded. Fortuna made it very clear that if we try to leave, we won't get far. Uh, yeah. Can you patch me through to Jalen? One moment. Let's just see how this unfolds, actually. You've got some good news for me, Kay? Hoss is out. He's dead. Ah. That certainly makes it hard for him to be useful. I'm also in bad with Jabba. He won't let us off planet, and somehow I'm stuck working with that hey, hey, hey. Everything will be fine. If Hoss is dead, we adapt. Get back in Jabba's good graces, get off Tatooine, and we'll figure out what to do next, all right? Yeah. Right, okay. Good. Besides, I caught up with ND5. Left you a little something on your ship. Should help you out. Oh, uh, thanks, Jalen. You're working with Vale. It's a long story. So, scrap that. Hold it on, looks man. like we're trying to get back in the good books with Jabba currently. So here we go. We're going to be pressing on and trying to get back in Jabba's good graces here. Just get these fools off my back. Teach them a lesson. I don't know how this is going to bode for our rep. Uh-oh. With the hook cartel. But nevertheless, we can't allow them to just shoot at us, surely. So we're going to have a look here. Akiva, Kajime, Tashara. I'm a little bit confused on where we're actually supposed to be going here. Jabba's favour, right. So now we're on track. Jabba's favour. This is where we're going to be going. So we're going to show in the jet. So why was it not in the jet? Oh, maybe it was there. Already. Oh, it was right at the top. I never saw it. My bad. <laughs> Nevertheless, we're going to make our way over and get on with this. I can't quite understand how I've missed that. But we will push on. Quite a distance to travel here. Whoa. Well, that was lucky. So we do have our special ability on L and R. So we do run into too much trouble. We should be able 
to use that and get out of it. You get a little bit overwhelmed. That's the plan anyway. Here we go. So we are approaching our destination here. I think the colour palette and the choices for Tatooine have been, like, amazingly spot on. I uh, really like the way this game looks in the Snowdrop engine. Pretty amazing, in my opinion. Come here. And here we have Val. Let's go. You showed up. Yeah, well, I figured working with you was a little better than running from that slug my whole life. Ooh, she called Jabra a slug. There, get the info on the mole and get out. I'll find our exit. That's it? Feels like I'm doing most of the work here, Vale. I could tell Jabba you died on the job. But you need my bounty. Accidents happen. Okay, okay. All well, that's not very nice. Yeah. So, steal the data. So, am I going in solo here? I think possibly we are. So it could actually be forcing us to go down the right hand side, which would be an absolute nightmare in my opinion. Um, we are going to have a little bit of a gander around here. See if we can find a way in. And indeed, we are in luck. Let's go, baby. Let's get into the vent. So that's a stroke of luck. So we can hide in the vents and in the uh, steam. We do have to be very cautious here. So it does appear to be somebody there. Now... In prior missions, there was another vent up this side. So perhaps we can knock this guy out. Very good, very nice. Um, perhaps we can get up on this. No. So we have been spotted here. So we might be able to get across here, perhaps. Or maybe we just have to go through the main door. I'm not entirely sure. So we have been spotted there. We'll have to be a little bit cautious here. We'll creep into the base, hopefully. Let this big walker see us. ATST, also known as. Oh dear. Hopefully it's not going to see us. Forgive me for not trusting you at all. The question is, can I shoot this camera? Or do we just have to avoid it? So as long as we stay out of the yellow circles, we should be Gucci or golden. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. It's so cute. Uh-oh. Shit. The walker's back. Oh, no. Oh, dare I slip past it? Watch out, Nix. Kind of need to get over to there, if we can. No hiding now, Nix. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Nix, be careful. This is tricky. 
It's like Metal Gear Solid from back in the day. You should love that game. Don't want to see those things in action. All right, hold on. Same 48 meters. That way. I'm a little bit confused there. Are we actually going the right direction? There seems to be some sort of power line here. But he's saying that we're supposed to be going this way. So perhaps we're not supposed to be in here after all. It's looking like we're kind of stuck. We're probably going to have to go all the way through here. Chances are we are going the right way, though. I can't imagine what would be back that way. So we should be able to make a little bit of a move here. Don't want to get caught. Problem is, do we go up the stairs or? What? We've been seeing. So it's looking like this is the only way out we can go. We'll close this down. The real problem I've got is I can't find the area that I'm supposed to be going to. It's really not going terribly well. I have found on a number of occasions that I've had these issues with the missions, like not really being very clear on where we're actually supposed to be going. Now we have cleared out this temporarily. We are being shot at by a laser turret. So there is a key card. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Now we're cooking. Right, looks like we can get in here. Oh dear. We're in trouble. There we go, we're in, we're in, we're in. Let's try and use key card. 
Now, usually, you can kind of go in guns blazing or stealth-wise. It doesn't really matter. But I do feel that the missions are designed for the stealth approach. I just think it's a little bit... A little bit overkill the way they've um, designed the security and whatnot. I do feel that some of the stealth elements are a little bit tricky. Oh, damn. Bit of a bugged out stormtrooper there. Where'd she go? Search the area. So are we into the right place here? There we go. Disable the cameras and open the security lock. Finally. Take these out. Disable the alarm. And hopefully with a better look now, we should be golden. We've got some more credits here. Let's have a look at this box. Access the computer and transfer the data. I do find that some of the stealth elements to the game are incredibly difficult uh, and a little bit, a little bit overkill in my opinion. But your mileage may vary. Do we have managed to get the data here? Disable the alarm here. She's a good liar. Okay, guess we're our way out of she is a good liar. But you know what these smugglers and bear hunters are like? You can't trust them. Let's be honest. They're all a little bit crooked. Nope. We're blasting our way out. I'm not sure we can actually stealth this part. Probably not. Well, if you grab a blast off one of these here. Oh. Oh, then again, we won't. We don't pick one of these up. We'll get back to Vial. Oh, we got one. Nice. Let's go. So these guys here. Get him next. We are gonna have to quick throw a grenade here. Jeez. So that's the only way I've found to deal with those is by throwing a grenade and shooting them in the back. Sadly, we are running low on grenades now. Got him. Let's go. Oh, dear. ATST. Oh, we're in the sugar now. I thought we shut down the cameras. That's not good. 
We are going to have to make a run for it. Let's move. So I'm not going to lie. Pretty tricky mission. Boom, boom. Oh, we're in trouble here. Whoa, TIE Fighters, what the hell? He does have some really cinematic, fantastic moments this game. But they are sadly followed up by a little bit of strange stealth detection. We're going to do what we can to escape this chase. Whoa, that's a big jump. They are pulling back by the looks of it. Make our escape. A lot of double crossing going on in the story currently. I mean, I will be honest, it does have the, but it has the bones of a great game. It's just sadly a lot of the things that options that they've gone with are a little bit poorly executed sometimes. I'm sure that's the point. Hand off is at the top of the hill. Keep your eyes open. I'll watch your back. Uh huh. You know. Jebo was right. When we're not trying to kill each other, we make a pretty good team. Shut up, Fess. There. That has to be the place. Yeah, looks like it. With all these explosive barrels, I think we're going to meet resistance here. Got a bad feeling about this, as Han Solo would say. But let's see. No answer. Something's wrong. Yeah, we're here. Where are your guys? Amateurs. We lost them. She's right, we're clear. Bib. Hello. ND5? Ferric. Something's jamming us. Uh oh. The triple cross? Something like that. Something's going on big time. Uh oh. Oh, my days. Rat grenades, also. So, we are going to have to use these barrels effectively, I feel. We have got a blaster. A decent magnitude. We are going to have to check all these bad boys out. Oh, damn. Got a lot of damage there. 
Thankfully, there are back to vials here. I do not know if we could deal with him, though. We are going to have to go and get the grenades. Um... We do need some grenades here for sure. We are going to have to make a play for them. I don't see how else we manage to do this. Really is getting a little bit tricky. Suddenly, we only got two of them there. Oh, damn, we just shot ourselves. Oh, looks like we got overpowered. Gotta admit, the stormtroopers do look kind of uh, amazing. ND5 to the rescue. Let's go, baby. Good lad. Take my hand. We got this. Ooh, look at that. That looks amazing. The lighting is so good. Ah, Sliro. Ja grandio jaba kappa his opolat. Bata his numno bata tinka uba pipo his titaki. And he sent you in his stead, just as I had hoped. The agent I planted in your ranks is dead, I presume. Sutwama stupata tinka da dopa miki vopa bola. No patatisa. Unnoticed. I expected you to catch him long ago. And now I see the cracks in your organization. Chuba bola tis kankita batu? No. To make you an offer, Fortuna. Work with me, and I can help you take that palace for yourself one day. Do haku jijama. Diduba naga tuta genulia tis grani pagua. Tell me what you know about K Bess. Mighty interested in us. Getting a little bit concerning. He's invested a lot of time and resources into us. So our debt with Jabba is now paid. Which is great news. Maybe get us a little bit of brownie points with the hook cartel. Like that are rare. <clears throat> so, uh, we doing this? You know, I'm not really in the mood. Let's start running. I'll be back for you, Kay. I bet. <laughs> Tuna just sent us a message. He has a job for us. And I found a lead that might help you improve your skills. Crimson Dawn has a job for you. Their contact wishes to meet in the Bestine Sabak parlor. Thanks. I'll follow up. 
So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Jabba's debt is now repaired. It doesn't matter how they feel, as long as they work with you. And we have indeed increased our standing with them and the Hut Cartel. I hope you've enjoyed today's content. If you have, consider giving it a like and hitting that subscribe button. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.